do not adjust your TV sets. Welcome back to Rimmel, by the way. Uh, there was a slight issue with yesterday's recording in that it was weirdly zoomed in. As you can see right now, this isn't some cinematic mod that removes the menus. It is just that far zoomed in. There was an issue with OBS. I don't know what the hell caused it. I opened it up. I thought that it was recording as normal. I watched the video back and it was uh, like, what, about 30% of the screen is cut off there? So, having done this video already once, I kind of wanted to just scrap it and start again. But I thought I would at least give closure for what happened to Jilt 8 before we dive into a new character. There were some unfortunate things that happened. Uh, but he did eventually get hit by... There was a psychic drone that lowered his mood to the extent that he was capable of having a, a major mental break risk. He went into Berserk. And I was thinking to myself, oh, that's pretty good. Berserk is fine because we've got nobody who could be injured by that. We captured this guy called Dex, who you can see in the house there. However, he went Berserk and then a trade caravan turned up. Almost a second afterwards, and you can sort of guess what's going to happen at this point, huh? Um, Jilp is Berserk. These guys are not particularly pleased about it. And then poor Jilp 8. I thought that getting the Berserk mental breakdown would have been incredible, because, you know, unlike a tantrum or something like that, he's not going to break anything. It's not going to cause any issues. And then he was shot dead. Uh, and that was about the time, you know, I, I even started a whole new Jilp 9 and then picked a starting point and then I realized it was all zoomed in. So I'm not comfortable giving you guys a, a sort of crappy zoomed in sort of half character, half video like that. So we've got also all, all about quality on Roll 1D2 games, which is why I don't edit these videos. Let's dive, let's dive straight into a whole new character then. So Jilp number 8, kind of cursed. The recording was cursed and we just got really, really unlucky with the psychic drone followed by the berserk of all things, followed by a trade caravan turning up. Thanks, Randy. So, Jilt 9 then. Naked Brutality, because people have basically asked to uh, start randomizing the traits a little bit more because of the, um, because with, with the Jilt Vandal scenario setup, I was like, let's just give him a baseline easy trait so we can dive straight in. People want to see the randomization, so we will absolutely go for that. And I'm thinking, to add a little bit more to the difficulty here, why don't we go true random? So we're going to go Randy Random Savage, and obviously Commitment Mode, as per usual. By the way, if we didn't have Commitment Mode, I would have been able to reload back to before the video corrupted. When I rebooted OBS, it was fine, so it was clearly just an issue at that time. Would have been able to reload back, but I, I feel like there's too much of a worry about... People might worry about me sca saves coming or something like that. Not that I would, but, you know, it sort of uh, removes all doubt, huh? So, let's go for a... What have we done? We played Rimworld Default. I'm just gonna... I mean, I wanted to pick one randomly. We'll just stick with Rimworld Default. And what I kind of suggested... Oh, we could go Random Planet. Oh... This could be a huge problem. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Good. Thanks. Very cool. Um, minus 48, 44, minus 37 towards the south a little bit more. And then you get to the top to minus 67. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, my God. I have no idea how to do ice cap. I mean, this is probably going to be a short one. I feel like Jump 9 is uh, just crop being rude at this stage. I mean, well, let's move south. Let's go as far south as possible so the temperature isn't quite as completely unforgiving. Um, or we could go select random. Oh, fine. You know what? Like I said, let's go full random on it. And I'd love to do more of this in the future. The random planets, though, could really, really screw us. It might be a case of just picking Rimworld default and then randomizing when we're actually on the planet itself rather than going for a random planet. But hey, let's test it out. Let's see what we've got going on here. Now, one thing I've noticed as well is we've been, I've been extra strict on characters. I didn't realize that with this... Take a look. It's doubling the amount of points that we've spent. So that last Jilp had half the points available that he should have had because the game thinks there's two. That's clearly not. Um, I kind of fixed it by going down to the world tab, removing these, and then tabbing back over. Seems to sort out the points limit. I'm not sure what causes it. Maybe it's just loading in a character while there was a character already there or something like that. But anyway, this should. There we go. So we've now got 1130 points. So... You guys want to see the random traits come back, so let's go for some random traits here. Boom. Underground and misogynist straight. I mean, that's fine. I feel like we've had that one before. In fact, I'm pretty sure we've had exactly that before. And let's also go for a random backstory. So the only caveat to the random backstory when we're randomizing things here is that we, ha if we have it like incapable of building, then we have to reroll. We'll just reroll once or keep rerolling until we get the first valid backstory and stop. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to and uh, stop. Good. Story writer, herbal entrepreneur, good social good intellect. We can take the passions out because those are from old Jilp and then let's start and round them up a little bit. So we've got a hell of a lot of points available to us because he does have that crypto sleep sickness. He does have misogynist which is obviously a bad trait to have, cause a lot of social fights. Undergrounder is good. Straight is just, you know, it doesn't affect the points limit. So let's go for, first things first then, let's go for heaters. I mean, our heaters are going to be irrelevant. We're going to have to immediately build a base. How do you do this in Naked Brutality? I have no idea if this is even possible, is it? Ice cap, like, like this temperature, Naked Brutality? If you just sit next to the, the geezer, will it give enough heat whereby you can't die? 
Oh man, this is going to be interesting. I, I don't think we can build any structures. That's my only concern. Anyway, um, we'll go for... So because we're on the ice sheet, I'm thinking we go for high construction and high crafting so that we can stone cut quicker. Because we're not going to have access to any wood. We're not going to have access to any trees. Then I think we also want, I mean, plants and cooking. I mean, what's the point of that these days, huh? Mining is going to be pointless because I think we're on, you know, ice sheet. Shooting. I'm going to increase that a little bit so we can at least go hunting for whatever the hell is out there to get some leathers, some furs, some sort of clothes. Um, I honestly have no idea how the hell we're supposed to do this. But this is going to be interesting if it, if it you know, is capable of anything. This could be very, very cool. Let's set intellectual high passion. I'm happy to spend a, a, a fair amount of points on the passions a little bit. I'm going to give him a passion in... Oh, man, that's kind of expensive. I didn't realize quite how expensive that was. He's probably going to be alone for quite a while based on the fact that, you know, it's very cold. Let's give him a passion in shooting. We've got plenty of points to spend. Actually, like, way too many points to spend now. Probably because he's such a generically bad character, you know. He's, he's got only negatives, realistically, and then some questionably um, poor traits. Shooting 7, construction 7, crafting 7... Social 8. I'm going to go social 10. And then a little bit more in plants. A little bit more in cooking. Just to ensure that we're not going to get the food poisoning. A little, a little bit more in mining as well. I'm going to leave it there. Because I feel like the points on it is actually a little bit too generous for what we're after right now. I'm also going to take a couple of passions out. That was me going a little bit crazy with things. There we go. Let's just do something like that. Boom. Okay. So I don't know how the hell I'm even supposed to start this. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what this entails or what we have to do with it. You've woken up from what was supposed to be a minor surgery. Cool. How do I... Oh, so there are some structures already. And in fact, it's not nearly as flat as I thought. We're going to need to build around a geezer though, aren't we? Just to keep... Just, just to keep some heat. Um, so I'm thinking the first thing we do is deconstruct these walls. And immediately reconstruct them around uh, this sort of this sort of geezer here. Now, where are we landing? We're landing just there. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's got to be first things first. It's minus 45. He's going to die in probably a few hours. If we're not careful with this, probably that's... Fairly generous, I'd imagine. So deconstruct all these. I'm going to manually micro everything for now. Um, we will set up his just generic job list, even though I'm kind of a little apprehensive to, because he might die instantly, because as I said, I've really got no experience with these things. Okay, no pressure. Deconstructing sandstone wall. I think that's an absolutely incredible start. Go. Okay, need warm clothes. You don't fucking say. Minus 44. So it's going to heat up as we go. He's already got hypothermia. Oh, good. 13%. Now, what do we need? What do we need then? Um, sandstone door requires 25 sandstone bricks. How are we going to do this? Oh, there are animals. Okay, that's good. Well, there's one arctic wolf. How are we going to do this? Hang on. Because we need to build a door around this so we can get in and out. I mean, we could just block him in and then go back and forth. Deconstruct the wall. Re rebuild the walls to get back in and out of the base. Um, so we do something like this. Oh my god, this is going to be hard, I think. This is going to be way too hard. Cancel this one. This is where he's going to... I don't know if you can stand on that either. That's my concern. Um, just in case you can't, we'll do that and we'll put the door... This is spending way too many blocks, isn't it? I don't know. I honestly don't know how to do this. Okay. I think if we're quick, though, we should be fine. What's his health looking like? Minor hypothermia. It's already at 30%. Right. Um, crypto sleep casket sickness, I think, is probably going to screw us. Oh, shit. How do we do this? Can he stand on it? I think the quickest way to check would be to draft him. He can. Okay, so you can stand on those blocks. That's good to know. Let's cancel these off. Because it's just a waste of resources. So we've got to get minimum. What's that? Five. We're going to get at least 40 sandstone blocks. I think we're going to die before we can do this. Well, uh, at least we know where one of my witnesses is. Oh, hypothermia. Yeah, no shit. Um, he's not going to be able to deconstruct these fast enough now. Because he's got hypothermia and the... Okay, the crypto slip sickness is gone. He's down. That's it. Is that not already game over? Well, I have no idea how the hell you're supposed to do that. I'll be honest with you. I've, I've, I don't even know if that's possible. I mean, I imagine somebody's done it right. They probably got very, very lucky with the, the geezer spawns. Good. Good. Thank God that we spent all that time custom. Oh, that was jump nine, by the way. I've got to remember to rename that. Let's just ignore that and carry on. <laughs> don't know what you're talking about. That never happened. All right. Commitment mode. Let's not do the random planet because I feel like that was a horrible. We want to at least get a chance of landing somewhere semi-normal. If it puts us in the ice again, obviously I'm going to have to do it because this is part of the, the newer adjusted challenge. Select random site. We are on grasslands. We're by that. Okay. It's not the best one. Fairly cold. Growing period is fairly low. Some berries. Oh, God. Okay. Fine. Prepare carefully. Let's load in jilp number 10. Oh. <laughs> Ridiculous and so dumb. So if we go back and forth, point spent. Still says jump 10. Now, I think we do have to clear these guys off. 
Maybe I should save this. That's that's probably my own mistake here. If we save this um, and save it as a preset that's just Jilp, it should save us a lot of time for when I die, inevitably, in the first 30 seconds. So let's get rid of these, and let's also clear off the passions. That way, we've essentially got a nice, fresh slate to work from. Can we just take all the points out of it? What does that do? Clear all skills. There we go. Nice. Okay. So save this preset as uh, Jilp. Nice. So that's going to save us up a little time in the future. We've got plenty of points to spend now. So let's roll our traits to start off with here. And stop. Psychically hypersensitive. Terrible. Ascetic is good. Ascetic is very good. Um, asexual. I don't know if that is a good thing or not. Because he's going to be living by himself. I suppose that might be okay. But, I mean, if he gets other characters, he's just going to rebuff them all the time. Perhaps. I don't know. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that one. So, the first thing we need, then, is construction five. I'm going to go for cooking... Uh, six. Let's go plant six. Let's go social and intellectual. Okay, we need to roll his backstory. Like I said before, unless we are incapable of dumb labor or construction or something like that. Boom. Oh, shit. Uh, incapable of cooking. He's gonna die. He's ascetic. He can eat raw meat, but that does give him a chance of becoming... Oh, man. Incapable of crafting. I feel like that's, just, that's screwed. Incapable of crafting. Means we can't make clothes, and we're in the cold. Part of the challenge. It's part of the challenge. I'm going to have to get your, your guys' feedback on this one before I decide whether or not this is a... Oh, shit. He can't do crafting, hauling, cleaning, rearming, refueling, butcher. Oh, he can't butcher. Can't do brewing, refining, loading, cremating, delivering. Oh, shit. Can't haul. Well, if he can't haul, then we're really screwed, aren't we? I think this one might be a cursed start. Because if he can't haul, he can't pick up blocks and he can't build anything. Right, okay. That is definitely a cursed start. So, like I said before, we'll roll it once... If it's good, capable of social. But like I said, it, it's not impossible. We could get random wanderers. We could have people, um, you know, that message over the radio that blah, 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 is in trouble. This is possible. This is this is a winnable scenario. I'm going to put some points into shooting, though. Um, let's go for 10 shooting. I feel like that's one of the safest things we could probably go for. Let's go for 8 construction. A little bit of cooking, although he's ascetic. So actually... Interesting. Dislikes fantasy food prefers to eat raw. Right. In that case, why cook? Am I right? Why, why bother cooking if, if we're going to just eat raw food? That's going to give us a lot of bonus points, which I feel like is not really in the spirit of things. Oh, well, it is, because we're playing a CC. That's just what the random roll has given to us, I guess. Um, crafting needs to be a little higher, I think. And then some mining, too. Definitely wouldn't go amiss. Now, we could dish out a couple of passions. Oh, I think intellectual has to happen. Otherwise, we're going to be screwed with doing research. That'll do. We've got 778 points. I don't really want to go below 500 points. I am think this is a good start. This is doable. This is... Uh, nobody can warden. Doesn't matter. You know, incapable of social is not such a big deal. When I first rolled the incapable of social character, I thought that it was a, a really big issue that was going to basically stifle the playthrough. Because I was like, oh, how are we going to recruit anybody? But we don't really need to worry about that realistically because, you know, we've, we've already got... Uh... Oh, hang on. Oh no, it's fine. I was gonna say we've got no we've got no rivers, so how are we gonna deal with sewage? But I think we can just pump it straight into the ocean. Um, so I was thinking, yeah, we wouldn't be able to, you know, uh, recruit any people. But if we get wild wanderers, that type of thing, wanderers or uh, people asking for help over the beacon. Now we are a sea tick. Now how the hell do I play a sea tick? That's the real question. Chilly, sick, and naked. Um, yeah, it is only six degrees. So clothes. Luckily, we've got some deer kicking around. Clothes would be a pretty great start. I think we're gonna live by the sea to essentially just give us the defensive. I think if we lived, like, right the way up here, that would help out a lot, although we're quite far away from farmlands at that stage, aren't we? Um, we could, like, turn this little beach hut, or what about... Uh, this one's quite close to the entrance. I was immediately just looking at this, thinking, this will do. To be honest, probably will do. We can dig our own wells. Water isn't such a big deal as I'm making it out to be, to be honest. Um, as long as you, you know, manage it right. So we've also got Sky Steel. Now, as a seat, we, we don't really care about Sky Steel. That would just be good for making weapons and whatnot. This actually might be a nice room because those are steel floors. I think we might have to dig those up. Anyway, it doesn't matter too much. Let's put down a bed immediately. Or let's at least start planning out what we're going to need immediately. So we're going to need a bed. We're going to need a dresser and an end table. There we go. This is bedroom done. Then I think we're also going to want... Um a butcher's table, but nothing else. So we could just have a butchering spot. Uh, but obviously, he can just eat raw food. So we don't really need a stove or anything like that either. It's cold. So I would recommend also so we're not working in the dark as well. Campfire would be a good plan. Then let's go for production. Put down a crafting spot so we can make a bow, arrows, and of course, our tribal wear. Then we're immediately going to go hunt some deer to get some clothes. Because this is pretty bad otherwise. So we need a fair amount of wood. Um, so we've got 20... 50, 70, we got 140, so we need 145 wood, which is quite a heavy ask, uh, especially if there are no immediate trees nearby, we could go and get a lot of berries as well, but 
Okay, and then of course we obviously need a front door. There is a steam geezer there. We could build a building around that as we were trying to do with the ice cap and we saw how successful that went. Um, I suppose this time around that we're not worrying about freezing to death immediately. Could dig up the floors and just build a steel door, but steel doors are really just inconvenient, aren't they? Okay, I've got a good feeling about this one. I, I just have, you know, something in my gut tells me that this guy is a survivor. He's a, he's a winner. Let's go for finish, rearm, refuel is fine. Um, irrelevant, irrelevant. Butchering is fine. Cooking is irrelevant. Brewing is irrelevant. Hunting should be high tier. Repair, deconstructing, construct, I'm going to put to two. Harvesting and growing crops, we'll put to tier one. Mining, uh, drilling is going to be, I imagine, always irrelevant. Drugs, pointless. Fabrication, pointless. Machining, pointless. Smithing. Oh, God, this is all shit. Tailoring is fine. Tailoring, I'm going to have high tier. We're going to get uh, stone cutting up to high tier as well. Smelting is relevant. Crafting needs to be the top. Get rid of these. These uh, deliver is pointless because he's our only builder. Hauling. I mean, just tier three is fine. I'd actually rather have cleaning above that so that he deals with that first. Research should be fairly high. I'd rather... Would I rather be, be, him be researching than hauling? I mean, researching, we're going to micromanage anyway by obviously just picking the research we want. And if we want him to do more important things, we could just cancel the research or something like that. So I'd rather that takes a higher priority and then gives the ability to stop it and restart it whenever we feel like. Okay. Cleaning rock rubble. Great start. Rather you didn't do that. So let's expand a allowed area here. So this is going to be the only area I'm going to allow him to clean. Otherwise, we're going to spend a lot of time pissed around doing that. Okay. Wandering. So he's got nothing to do. Let's, in that case, designate some trees to chop down. I'm going to make the bow and arrow make the wooden door so i'm actually going to go ahead and forbid everything else the bow and arrow the uh oh you know what? he's a c tick he might get really annoyed by these which means we won't get the comfort bonus man this is going to be some weird balancing to start off with so we need to make some stone arrows we need to make the bow and then let's make some tribal wear as well good then i think we want to put down the door now i would put down the door but we're going to need some wood first to even plan it out where are the closest trees oh shit <laughs> um horrible okay I mean, we're going to be really... Uh, beggars can't be choosers on this one, I think, is the right expression. Right, get to work. Okay, I've got a good feeling about this one. I, th I think Jilp 10 is the one. I think he's going to do it. So, Jilp 8, wiped out by the Berserk. Jilp number 10 was... I mean, just unfortunate, wasn't it? Let's be honest. That was that was just a poor start. He, he really drew a short straw on life. Let's put down a stockpile zone as well. Now, we've got a little bit of wood. Actually, what I'm going to have him do, and cancel that for a start. Um, I don't know if we gained back all the resources from cancelling that. No, we got eight, and I think it's ten, isn't it? That's annoying. I actually wanted to make the, make the door first. So, I'm going to suspend these. Just having a structure for him to live in is, is going to be heads above having a short bow, I think. Oh, God, construction botched. You've got 8.4 building, you madman. Okay, there we go. House is done. Or at least we've got something to live in. Hopefully, he's not impressed by that. Uh, chilly, darkness, sick, naked. Yeah, we'll deal with that in a second. So we will make the campfire first as well. That will mitigate chilly. That will mitigate the darkness. And it will also mitigate the slightly slower crafting speed that he's got uh, when trying to make his bow. And then he can also make himself some leathers a little quicker as well. There we go. That looks pretty pretty homely, I think. Of course, when we've got everything else done as well, it'll look a lot nicer. Now, I'm going to allow him to build the bed. But I don't know, as he's a sea tick, whether or not that will be too far. <laughs> on the plus side, it means we can spend more time, you know, stone cutting, researching. We don't have to worry about building people's bed or building Jilt's bedroom specifically. Is he okay with that? He's not upset. Spacious interior. Good. Hey, that's that's nice. Initial optimism extremely low. So sweaty. Oh, now he's too warm. Can't win with you. Um, I suppose it is slightly too warm in there. Do you want um? How would I do that? We'd have to put down a cooler. Let's not worry about that. You know, it's just a temporary thing anyway. It's not going to get above. Yeah, it's not going to get any warmer than that. So let's not worry about it. Now something then just died. I don't know if you heard that. Um, I don't know what the hell it was, but I'd like to haul it back and butcher it. So, A, we've got food, but obviously, B, we could potentially make some leathers. What was that? Was it the bear must have eaten it? Oh, God, there's a bear. That could be a problem, because it's also fairly cold, which, to my knowledge, affects the amount of animals that spawn in as well. Okay. Uh, by w which, I mean, you know, we're most likely going to be the thing that that bear hunts. It's going to be the Saber Cat version 2.0. Let's do a couple of hours of anything as well here. I'm not going to push him so hard, because, as always... That either saves the colony or kills the colony. I can't really find a comfortable middle ground. I'm, I'm pretty much an all or nothing guy. Right, okay. Yeah, there's still hauling inventory, gathering oak seeds. What are this wood, though? Do you think you could uh, bring that home? Oh, that's also... No storage space. What are you talking about? Um, What are you on about? What about all of that room? Oh, because he was probably... That was probably reserved for the seeds. Which, as I've said before, is kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. Because it does take up a lot of... Uh, a lot of extra stuff. That, yeah, or a lot of extra storage space that you could have for literally anything else. Right, so let's make these and let's go and hunt ourselves a tasty, tasty raw deer. I mean, all deers are generally raw if you're hunting them, right? Okay, short bow's done. 
And let's go ahead and equip that one when you're done relaxing socially. Actually, to be fair, that gives a lot of social. Holy shit. I can't say I ever really realized that. Asita has an awful bedroom. He's happy about that. That's very cool. I mean, that's kind of nice as long as we manage it properly. Could we not just dig up the floor and that'll always keep him happy? I never considered that. So we could probably get away with, with buffing up his furniture, but as long as we actually don't bother cleaning it then, right? Oh, unless the filthy affects it. Um, like, this room is filthy. It's not really the same as having an awful bedroom, huh? Anyway, um, that's, that's enough sleep, right? Four o'clock, five o'clock, you're good. Now, if you could do me a favor and finish off your arrows so that we can go out hunting, so that you're not going to A, starve to death, or B, freeze to death, that would be ideal. So, I'm, I'm just going to go with 20 arrows here, just because it does take quite a long time. I never really considered the amount of time that would be uh, invested into this as well. Let's unsuspend that one. And let's also butcher everything forever. But let's only do it within a particular radius, because I don't want him going to the edges of the earth, as we've seen before, to butcher a random creature that died 100 miles away. Okay. And then, he's picked up his arrows. Oh, he picked those up automatically. Thank you. Right. Squad up. We're going to draft it hunt. Oh, God, the bear. No, we're not going to draft it hunt at all. I've changed my mind. We're going to... Okay, what if he shoots the bear? That would be horrible. Oh my god, the bear ate the whole deer. Now, you're not supposed to hunt doe, are you? But, you know what? I don't really care. Joe, Joe doesn't care either. It's not like there's some, you know, environmental protection agency in space that's going to take us out. Take him down. Good work, Jill. He's a, he's a crack shot, this guy. Compared to, what was it, Jill Pate? It was goddamn atrocious. Right, so let's get this boy hauled urgently. Uh, no, it's his spot. Okay, right. Yeah, fair enough. I think I need to set this up for corpses as well, don't I? As long as there's blood all over his bedroom, that might keep him happy as well. So let's go corpses, animal corpses, but no insect corpses. And then let's set the butcher zone to actually only have a very, very small radius there, just to sort of the immediate vicinity. Right, okay. Uh, he's going to go drink some water. I think that's fair. After you're done with that, let's haul this dough home. Get some clothes going. I, I kind of like this map. I think it's quite a nice map with the whole sea to the north there. I, I might be a bit of a convert for that. Water. So water is the immediate next thing we want to work on, I think. So let's go for primitive well. Oh, there's not much water here, is there? Oh, you know, that's a fair amount. I'm, I'm, I'm being a little bit dramatic there. Let's put down... I mean, we can tap all of this, right? Let's just put it there. That seems like a pretty decent amount of wood that we're going to get from that. Then we also want a... I mean, a wash tub. Must be regularly refilled with fresh water. Can also be used for drinking. A wash tub. That's absolutely disgusting, but fine. Um, let's put that just outside. He's a sea tick. I'm sure he'd be fine with that. You know, one with nature and all that garbage. Right. Let's eat ourselves some deer. And he's going to be happy about that. Oh, is he going to be sexy eight without a table? If he is, I'm going to be very annoyed at him. Supposedly being... You're a sea tick. What do you mean, didn't eat off of a table, you madman? For fuck's sake. Okay. Um, well, in that case, let's put on a very small... Let's cancel the dresser, because I think that's going to make him too happy. Let's put down a table, and let's put down a single chair. This bedroom's going to be way too nice. It's not going to be a complete shit stein. That's going to make him very angry. All right, let's allow these. Oh, do we really want to allow arrows? They're really not that much of an investment, are they? Excuse me, I need you to uh, just die. Don't shoot the other one. Excellent. We might as well hunt that one as well, then, seeing as I think we'll probably need that much leather anyway. What a hunter. Look at this guy. Five arrows to take down a single deer. Is there anything a bit left? Okay. Let's get that home. And then let's go and grab the other one. And that should give us enough leather to... Oh, they're only giving 14 apiece, huh? Oh, man. That's not ideal. Um, we need 60. Shit. We're going to have to hunt so many deer in that case. Well, we're halfway there. So let's hunt another... I think we've hunted two so far. Let's hunt another two. We could just wipe out the whole lot. But I'd rather not because I think it would just be a waste of meat for now. There we go. Excellent. Less arrows wasted on that one, the better. Let's get you some clothes. Need warm clothes, unhappy nudity. Yep, working on it. I'm going to try and keep a much closer eye. You guys always point out over here, these are the things that I need to focus a lot more on. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep a much more active eye on that type of thing. Where's he going? Is he out of arrows? Yeah, he's out of arrows. Okay, good good, good waste there. Thank you. Um, let's craft some more then. Make some more stone arrows. I want to get the uh, clothing done before the end of today. Oh, you know what? Actually getting a well done might be a better idea. Let's just force him to finish that one off, seeing as he was going to the goddamn sea anyway. Digging a well. Apparently it takes a while. Who'd have thought it? Failed. Jilp. Jilp. My guy. You were so close to greatness then. Alright. And that should be done. Alright. Sweet. Consuming raw, raw... I thought it said raw rat meat then. And we also obviously want to probably queue this one up now. So that he can wash himself. Alright. There we go. Oh, he can wash in the well. Okay, fair enough then. That's not as bad as I thought. Dehydration trivial should be dealt with then, and same with the malnutrition. Um, is it better to maybe not clean his bedroom? I have no idea how a CT works. I'm gonna I'm gonna read through the wiki page on a CTism after this to try and work out whether or not this is uh, what the best sort of strategy for it is. Maybe just leaving him 
with a an incredibly dirty bedroom. The sort of balance between comfort and not having it too impressive either, I think, would be fairly important here. Okay, so that's going to give us, in theory, enough leather now to be able to craft him his, his tribal outfit. When he's awake, let's immediately start work on that then. And that's going to basically deal with all of the problems here. He won't close. Lacks range weapon. Um, oh, he lacks arrows, I think is probably the safest way. This is what I was hoping for. The issue is we don't have enough arrows. Um, two drifters. No. No. A spaceship salesman named Jilp 8. It's another clone. What the fuck? Hang on. That is Jilp 8. <laughs> what? That is actually just Jilp. How has this happened? Decent learner, strong constitution. This is actually just Jilp. Um, huh. Well, that was lucky. So I've got a mod installed right now. He's dead, though, and that colony's... I don't think it's working as intended, but let's not worry about it. Hey, this is a cool story. I like it. Um, I've got a mod installed that essentially allows the game to look at your other save games and pull characters from it. The reason I installed it was because we left that colony behind with a load of survivors. Jilp is dead, so I don't—I didn't realize it would pull him out of it. But I, I wanted to, you know, like Setsuko and Erika again, like I talked about um, a couple of episodes ago. But no, it's Jilp himself. Jilp and his clone, Jilp number eight. Jilp number eight, you should be dead. This is, must be another like Jilp series B number eight or something like that. Unbelievable. And it's also a very low chance for this guy to turn up. Like, it's in incredibly low. I set it to, like, 5%. So, I'm not only are we lucky that we got Jilp out of that save game out of all the characters, but unbelievable. And you know what? The best part is they sort of round each other out. Because this guy's good at social intellectual. And this guy is good at social. Or doesn't even have the ability to do social. Hmm. That's, um, that's pretty odd. Would I have preferred literally any other character? Uh, yeah, kind of. Because he's not that. He's all round very below average. There was a chance we could have got someone who was, like, incredibly good at social. Incredibly good at building. But, hey, he's done it with a bow and arrow, at least, which is something. Um, he's also bought 23 arrows with him. And there's the bird skin. This is a cool mod. I I'm liking this mod, but it's a, it's a real shame that it's broken my immersion by bringing back to back to us jump number eight there. Okay. Welcome. Um, we've got a raid to do, so if you could uh, maybe make some fucking arrows, my guy. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, where are they? What are those? Oh, God. Those don't look friendly, whatever the hell they are. So we're up against uh, Maximo Machado, which is it sounds like a goddamn wrestler. Whitney Davidson. Um, see, like this guy. Why could it not have been this guy that we got with 13 crafting, 19 mining? What? We need to take this guy alive. If we could take this guy without the arrows, then move in into the melee range and take out Whitney, that would be massive. Oh my god. 19 mining. Oh, don't craft that first, you weird man. Oh, do we not have any wood? Oh, God. Okay, pick up arrow. Force work was interrupted. Well aware. Thank you. Um, let's go and get some arrows from off of the savannah. And hopefully... Okay, can he grab an arrow before we... You might want to drop half of this guy's on the floor, though. I think that's probably not a bad idea. So pick up... Let, let's, let's do that. That's a much better plan. Pick up arrows. Let's go for 12. Oh, is it just going to do this again, huh? Just going to do this again, huh? Okay, pick up arrows... 13. Go. Now you need to... Okay, go and get yourself a drink. That's fine. It's going to take him a while to get here still. Just going to pick up all of them. You you, you are killing me. You're killing me. So we're going to have to go and restrict their... Let's copy this and paste that in. There we go. We're going to have to restrict their loadout immediately then. Otherwise, you know, it's not it's not going to work. Um, so we're going to call this short bow. Enemy Lenny drugs. Then we want to obviously get the short bow. And then we want to say... Um, any ammo times 10. So hopefully they'll chuck that on the floor now, right? Fingers crossed they will only take 10 of those arrows. Uh, let's go gear. Drop. You need to, after you're finished, get into position. Pick up arrow stone. 10. Please work. I don't understand. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then squat up. And then are you almost done drinking for the love of God? Pick up all. How long does it take to get a drink, my man? Okay, he's taking too long. There we go. We're fine. Let's kill Maximo. And then let's try and capture the other guy. Because 19 mining is absolutely disgusting. That's insane. A open fire. No pressure. What is going on there? Oh, there we go. Why is he not firing? Why is he not why is he not firing? Um. Why mm, okay. Attack. Ig flee. Attack. He's not doing anything. Is he incapable of violent? People have nothing. 
Why is he not firing? Jilt. Jilt, you've left you've left other Jilt to potentially get dusted here. Uh, what if I un resting? Why can he not attack? He's got stone arrows equipped. Oh my god, no, he hasn't got them equipped. They're in his inventory. Oh my god, okay. Oh, is he gonna just take in arrows? Yeah, but if they're in an inventory, surely you can use them anyway. You know, they're in this guy's inventory. Okay, that's just bugged. So, you are now officially bait Jilp. So, let's hopefully take out Maximo. And, of course, the more shots we get off on him, the better. Because that's going to slow him down quite a lot and give bait Jilp chance to uh, keep running. This is high-level tactics. I know you guys don't come to the channel for this type of thing. I know a lot of people have said that, you know, I'm, I'm not, not super try-hardy and all of that stuff. But this is, this is high-level tactics. Take him down. Okay, uh, how about using your fists? Are you capable of just beating him to death? Oh, I think he might be. I think we might be good. Slow him down with an arrow. Oh, almost. Are we going to be able to cap capture this guy? Let's, let's close the gap. Close the gap. Um, we need to take this guy alive because he's so good. Okay. We know where we... we oh, there we go. We got him. Nice. And then get in front. Melee attack. Good. Beat him down, boys. Nice. Excellent. They got him. Holy shit. Okay, so this is big. Let's go, um... How do we do this? How do we do this? We go, uh... Well, we're just gonna have to turn this into a prisoner bed, aren't we? Okay, so make that for prisoners. What about you? Are you any good as well? Potentially getting two colonists. He's, he's very good. Tough underground by bisexual plants. Ten. Holy shit. Um, this could be an incredibly top tier start. Okay, capture him. Uh, I'm sure he's fine. It's just bruising, isn't it? Nice. Capture him. This is gonna be a horrible idea because obviously we're, we're basically opening ourselves up to to a lot of prison breaks. So building a very quick secondary structure for prisoners would be very ideal. Come this way and drink some water because you're going this way anyway. Man, so this guy's going to survive no matter what. Now, Maximo might be a little bit screwed. Yeah, I don't, we can't get back to him, I don't think, before he dies. Death in one hour. I'm, I'm happy doing what I've done. There's a possibility one of them could have run him down and, and we might still be able to save this guy for quick. Um, why does my inventory keep disappearing whenever we hover over stuff? That's very peculiar. Um... Hey, why don't you... We can't work on him by the looks of it. Um, oh, this guy's like cursed. This might be a cursed Jilp. I feel like this mod hasn't worked as intended. Hmm. We might have to strip that one out and, and Jilp 8 might have to <clears throat> disappear, if you get what I'm saying. Because this guy, when I try and... Just the whole inventory disappears. Something's, something's quite wrong there. Maybe when we reload and unload the game. I'm not sure. The, the other thing that confused me about that is you're supposed to export specific characters to import into your save game. And I didn't export Jill Pate for hopefully obvious reasons. Very weird. This is this is properly cursed then, huh? So let's go prisoner. Let's go recruit, obviously, because he's insanely good. And let's have you as number one warden boy. Okay. Um, I'm just going to leave this guy to... Do I want to leave this guy to die? We could have probably, probably saved him. We don't have any medicine, though. I'm just going to leave you to die. You know what? You're on your own. Let's go for uh, another structure then very, very quickly as soon as we can. Um, oh, we don't really have enough wood to build it out of wood. Can we maybe turn this into a prison temporarily? It's a little bit out of the way though, isn't it? It's uh, like really inconvenient to get over to that. If we chop down, we do have some trees here. We can make a very, very, very tiny prison. Because the recruitment hopefully won't take long. Alright, where is... Yeah, I'm not going to argue with a bear. Say what you want, but I'm not. That, that's that. That's the. But he belongs to the bear now. Holy shit, those things are nuts. The fact that they, he just ate the whole body in one go. What is there? Yeah, no, we don't want to mess with this guy. 10.92 melee DPS is nothing to sneeze at. It's not huge, but that's not, only slightly lower than a thrombo, as, as far as I recall. Okay, let's leave this one here. I'm not sure what's going on with the cursed Jilp, so I need to take a look into that and find out what's going on. If he's here, if he's here to stay, he's here to stay. If not, we'll delete him and we'll say that this guy was uh, the the payment, let's put it like that, because it does not seem to be working quite right. But anyway, that's uh, that's really up. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, this has uh, not been too bad. I apologize about the previous video, like I said, but it's just something very strange happened with OBS. I've, I've, I've never seen that before. And I've, like I said, rebooting fixed it, so hopefully it won't happen again, but I'll keep a very close eye on that. Let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons who made the series possible in the first place. A big thank you to Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Banyol, Sedini, Conspire T, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Danny Good, Donald, Eric B, Escape, Fukuna Vasquez, Fungus King, Harik, Haydog, Jimbo, Josh Lindine Tesla, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Mullen, Necrofilm, Pelvis Presley, Surthal the Swede. Sorry, I was putting a space in that one. Tom Terrier 18, 
Back yours, Backus, and Zazzy7011. Thank you all for your support, the insane tier levels on Patreon. And a big shout, of course, as well to Asro, Adam in Person, Andrew Wilson, Betamus Max, Sudini, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connor 2 and 7, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Faulkner, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, GDWK Run, Genji Zerka, Gray, Haji Damar, Hancock, Harry McGowan, Ice of the Great, Jay Lara, Israel, James Barnes, Yuan DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plock, Luan and Thomas, Matthew, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Limburg, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pat Samu, Panther Pearl, Smurt Worm, The Insane Pickle, Will Wade, Wolfie, and Zico 2. Thank you all for your support.